Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, when we open our hearts to our young people, give generously and support our support and encouragement, these young people consistently exceed our expectation. Let me tell you of the story of a dedicated group of students from a tiny island in the Western Pacific Ocean and the teachers who supported and encouraged them. Because on April 20, those students, the Saipan Southern High School Manta Ray Concert Band, exceeding any reasonable expectation, will be performing at one of America's premier musical venues, Carnegie Hall in New York City. Saipan Southern High School opened just a few years ago, in 2002. Southern was a beautiful new facility, but it needed to be filled with life and with heart. The new students and new teachers quickly adopted the motto, Un Escuela, Un Corazón, One School, One Heart, and began to bring their school to life. One of the new teachers was William DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt is a wonderful musician himself, and his new Saipan Southern music and band students were enthusiastic to learn, but few had any musical training. Yet, within a few months of opening, the Saipan Southern enjoyed the first performance of his very own band, the Manta Ray Concert Band. And quickly, Un Escuela, Un Corazón became more than just a motto, because the musical rhythms of the Manta Rays became the heartbeat of Saipan Southern. The band performed at pep rallies, sport competitions for the PTA at graduation. It seemed whenever Saipan Southern had an event, the beat of the Manta Rays provided the musical backdrop. By 2005, the Manta Ray Concert Band had reached a level of proficiency that allowed them to take on the complex Latin rhythms and jazzy dissonances of West Side Story for a production at Saipan Southern. And their reach extended beyond their school as they began performing and entertaining for the annual Taste of the Marianas Festival, Northern Marianas College Charter, Charter Day, the Western Pacific Judicial Conference, and many other community events. How that heart built grew stronger. In 2008, and again in 2009, the Manta Ray Concert Band captured first place gold awards at the Tumun Bay International Music Festival on Guam. Student members of the Manta Ray Concert Band joined the official youth orchestra at the 2008 Summer Olympics and performed in Beijing, China. Today, the Saipan Southern High School Band program has grown to more than 150 aspiring student musicians. The Manta Ray Concert Band has studied under great conductors from Guam and Japan. They have played for dramatic productions of My Fair Lady, A Winter's Tale, and It's a Wonderful Life. They host their own concerts and perform at, at others as well. The Manta Ray Concert Band typically presents more than 20 performances annually. Throughout their exemplary, exemplary rise, these young musicians and their teachers have struggled with finances, with lack of instruments, with the difficulties of travel for a band of students of ve various ethnicities and citizenship, but they have not lost heart. Nor have they forgotten that music can fuel the hearts of others. When a security guard was brutally murdered, murdered at a sister school, the Manta Rays played to raise funds for the grieving family. After a shooting rampage that left four dead on the island of Saipan, the Manta Rays raised spirits and funds for those in mourning. The Manta Ray Concert Band certainly deserves recognition, but they won their most recent distinction solely by the virtue of the quality of their music. Still under the dedicated direction of William DeWitt, they auditioned for the right to play at this year's New York International Music Festival at Carnegie Hall. And on April 20, with some of the most accomplished high school and college bands, the Manta Rays will fill the storied venue with their heartbeat. As usual, they will not be playing for themselves, but for others. The band is dedicating its Carnegie performance to Peter Leo, the first principal of Southern High School, who, as the Manta Rays program notes, and I quote, is courageously fighting to recover from a recent illness. Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time.